So, you're a faith healer. Or is that a pejorative? Do you prefer something like divine health management? But God might have mentioned that I was coming. I'm okay with faith healer, Dr. House. Oh, that's a nice one. You didn't even go with... I see an H in a medical coat. The nurses talk about you a lot. Yeah, don't believe them. I keep a sock in my pants. Faith. That's another word for ignorance, isn't it? I never understood how people could be so proud believing in something with no proof at all. Like that's an achievement. God's asking for our trust. You can't love somebody and not trust them. Trust has to be earned. You can't trust someone hiding in a closet. You don't trust anyone. You seem lucid. There's no confusion, no lethargy. What drugs have you been taking? Nothing. Uh, some aspirin. I get focused on something I forget to eat. Next thing you know, I've got a hunger headache. So aspirin and hospitals are OK. That's an interesting attitude for someone who's kept any number of people from getting medical help. Just because I believe in prayer doesn't mean I don't believe in germs and toxins. That bottle's been opened before. You refill it at the water cooler. Yes. How often do you do that? A few times an hour. He likes to stay hydrated. You think germs might have gotten in? I think water might have gotten in. You actually keep score? Your MRI results aren't done yet. Go back to your room. No singing. Well, he would get a point for figuring why the low sodium. What are my guys' points for? Your trick about the spat between Dr. Cameron and Dr. Foreman apparently impressed someone. And the second point? Do you think it could be because I healed Grace? She's been back to see me. I like her. You like messing with people. That's why you're here now. now maybe you think that your batteries are powered by God. Maybe you don't. Either way, you enjoy what you do. Yes. I like helping people. I get a rush when I see the look on their faces when they realize their burdens are gone. Mm, but you make sure you're in the next state by the time the endorphins wear off and the arthritis comes back. That doesn't happen. Oh, you do extensive follow-up studies? God told me. That's not fair. We were having fun. It's hard to keep sniping rationally when you throw a bomb like that in there. You spoke with me about you, too. Forgive my enemies. Never dated Taurus when Mercury's in retrograde. Yeah, I learned that one myself the hard way. God says you look for excuses to be alone. See, that is exactly the kind of brilliance that sounds deep. But you could say it about any person who doesn't pine for the social approval of everyone he meets, which you were cleverly able to deduce about me by not being a moron. Next time, tell God to be more specific. God wants you to invite Dr. Wilson to your poker game. <laughs>